Get the latest gist on Critty Boy updates. We upload comedy, news, music, and a whole lot more. Subscribe now and click the bell icon so that you stay notified anytime we upload the new content. Hello guys, who day? Yeah, how on a day? And I hope you guys are doing great. So guys, Regina Daniel spotted with Ned Unwonko. In case you're watching me for the first time on this channel, please subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. Do as much as possible to share this video to all social media platforms. And as well, follow us on our Instagram handle at CritiboyUpdate. Regina Daniels, the wife of popular billionaire politician Ned Unwonko, was seen dragging and forcing a 60 year old husband in a video. Ned Unwonko's reason of marrying Nollywood actress Regina Daniels was because he wanted to be popular. Then, when he was dating Chika IK, he told Chika to make it known to the public that they both were in a relationship. But his slay queen boss Chika would never allow that to happen because she was not in any way proud to be a girlfriend of an old man enough to be a father. So all she did was to collect her own share and clean her mouth. But with the help of pretty actress Regina Daniels, Ned Wonko has achieved that goal. Though it wasn't easy for Regina because of the so many gossip and hate speech thrown at her as a den. In spite of all the rumors that Ned Wonko got married to another woman, Regina Daniels has never showed up to say a word. It seems Ned Wonko is cool with Regina and it seems he will not get married again. So guys, what do you feel about this? The comment section is wide open for you and um, let's interact together. Here again, it's another update about these two teenage Yahoo boys, and it happened yesterday in Ghana. Two teenage boys arrested for allegedly taking down a friend for money rituals in Ghana. The police in Ghana have arrested two teenagers for allegedly dropping their friend for ritual purposes. According to reports online, the young boys lured their deceased friend to Vota region where they buy him and were in the process of taking his body to a herbalist when they were apprehended. In a video making the rounds on social media now, the boys can be seen handcuffed in the back of a police van as police officers prevented them from being lynched by a mob. <laughs> This small boy is one to six a Man, this girl is so talented. It's a marriage thing though. And um, this girl is the bride of the day. She could not just wait and watch her talent being wasted like that. Then she stood up from the seat she was sitting with her husband straight to the band and collected a stick from the drummer. And uh, she started playing, man, you can see how wonderfully she played. Man, this girl is really, really talented, really. I had to look for this kind of girl so that if I marry him, I could go learn music. And if I learn the music, I could sing, she could play the drum. <laughs> so guys, this girl is really trying and um, watch it as she plays the drum. <laughs>
why are girls rejecting marriage proposals? I be they don't want marry again. Look at this one. They just they the beg me they propose to her. Well, she has her own reason for not accepting this offer because you know some men self and maybe don't the study and um, all those kind of things. So I don't I can't really say much about this because I don't know what they have in their private life or those kind of things. So so if you feel you can comment something reasonable in the comment section, you can say something so we can tackle it together concerning this. Why this girl will reject this offer? Wait till you see and wait till you feel say cousin. You know, men, some men save the guys at a day, and some girls are really wicked. They just they wait for this day to punish this man, all those kind of things. So if you have anything reasonable, let's talk it in the comment section. Who is after the life of former governor of Ekiti State and his family? Oh, they should leave him alone. You can see now this has made him, you know, come the pray, come the pray for river and you know, reach it. Na beach, safe na beach. Yeah, this is a beach. He can't go beach. They pray against evil plans for their family. Imagine. Um, after when I don't chop our money, run. Nemesis they catch catch una everywhere when i don't know where from the corner na facing a devil the pursue na when i now they pray the fire pray this prayer you no know, go work you no know, go work because you know if it tell me say you never do bad for this country you former governor of ekt state look am are your fire fire your say and his family members they storm a beach to pray against evil plans for their family and um mm. so what is your take on this <laughs> Can you hear that? Oh, can you hear that? This is um, Tiwala Day, a single mother with no university education. She's never traveled to any English speaking country, but she speaks British accent quite fluently. Oh man, I'm really proud of her. And um, it is not easy, but um, you know, this is not our mother tongue, but she's speaking it fluently, like seriously. Man, I really bad on you, and uh, I like seeing this kind of thing. So, guys, um, this one is for her. And if you feel you can do better than this, let's see. Just write in the comment section below so I'll interview you and know if you can do better than her. Okay, my name is Tiwala Day Morandia. I went to Ojedu Grammar School and that's a day school. And I went to boarding school in Chagam. I've been to Dubai before. Just go there to work and I was main job, you know, cleaning of houses from one house to the other, from one house to the other. I went to Rave radio station okay not to do voiceovers and i dropped my number and they didn't call me they said they don't need it for now but later they're gonna get it so now they don't need it i just realized i talk like that this is nice it's just surprise if, if i talk like this i don't believe i'm the one all right i need university education no i didn't go to university i only went to school, school and that's all. okay yeah sir is there anything else you want to it's know? okay yeah <laughs> Thank you for watching Critty Boy Update. This is the end of our update. Happy Easter. And we'll see you on our next video. Goodbye and God bless you.